Check, check, check. We're live, man. We're live again. <sighs> Who we got in here? <sighs> Bruce Lee, you're back, yeah? Man's back in the fucking lives again. Where you been, man? I seen you on other people's lives, you know, selling out. No, it's good, man. It's all good. It's all good. Man says, Raw, we live again. Yep. 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 Basically, yeah. I was about to watch this video, innit? Hold on a sec. I was about to watch, you know, this video here. Eddie Hearn, heartfelt message to Kel Brook. I was about to just sit and watch it. And I thought we may as well watch it together. You see that video? So we'll have a little watch it. Have you not seen it already though? You know, if you've already seen it, it's uh Yeah man. <sighs> Cheers tying, I'm at rock bottom. Wow, what's up with you? What's the matter man? What's going on? Why did you end the last stream in a depressing way? I know, I know, I know. You know the live that I did yesterday? It was just cringe, man. It was cringe. I was fucking watching some old videos, you know, and I had a stupid fringe like that. I had like a fucking fringe like that, yeah. And it was too much, man. So I just wrapped it up. But we're back, man, we're back. I should have said bye though, you know, instead of just ending it, pressing end stream without saying bye, thanks for the super chats, etc. So we'll just move on, man. Come on, start afresh. Tiny, you love this boxing shit. Someone said, uh, someone said, hold on a minute, fuck off, man. Let me just try and get these comments on the screen. Hold on a sec. Just give me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Any chance? Give me a little poxy two dollar. Nah, no, it's good, man. Have you paid your mum's mortgage yet, Dossa? Nah, no, I ain't seen my mum, you know. There's a bit of fucking tension, you know, between me and my mum. So I'm just giving her a few weeks, few months to cool down a bit, calm down, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just bought some ciders, bought a couple of vapes, I thought I'd go live. I was about to watch a little video of Eddie Earn, you know, talking about Kel Brook, you know, being a bit a bit disappointed with him for uh, snorting the line, which... Is it because you lied about her on YouTube, laughing face? What did I lie about? What was the lie? What are you talking about? You've been a bit disrespectful to us reprobates just lately. Yeah, but it's a two-way thing, isn't it? You lot have been talking a bit of shit about my forehead, my double chin, but it's all good, man. It's all banter, isn't it? It's all banter juice. <sighs> Even copying KSI with the family Christmas arguments. He'll be releasing his own prime drink soon. Yeah, you know what? I've got a little update, you know. It's not really about a prime drink, but let me just show you this. So, you know, I've been trying to get a woman on here, yeah. Basically, there's a site where there's OnlyFans women in your local area, and you can find them, yeah. So I found a load of women who live nearby, and uh, this is one of them, yeah. So I basically, I messaged a load of women in it. You know, who live nearby, you know, asking them if they can, you know, be on my fucking live streams. And I found this woman here, yeah. I've seen her before, innit? You know, when I used to work in the clubs. She looks alright, don't she, that woman? So, I messaged her, yeah, and I said, let me just show you the message. Basically, this is her, innit? She's followed by Billy Joe Sandwiches. She's local. She's on TikTok and all that. She's on OnlyFans, so... Dropped her a little message today saying, I'm looking for an OnlyFans woman to be on my YouTube live stream in Sheffield for one hour for £100. Let me know if interested. And then she said, 
What would I be doing? Smiley face, potentially interested, kiss. And then I said, just answering some questions for my YouTube subscribers, like a Q and A, easy money. Yeah, and then I sent her this photo. You know, like trying to show her the big donations that I've got in the past, you know, from like Hex Toys and people like that. So I think she's on it, you know. She hasn't really seen the message yet, but she'll see it and then she'll be like, yeah. But this is her anyway. She looks decent, don't she? So I need you lot to spam this woman, yeah, and tell her to get on the live. Because it will generate interest and she'll think, oh, there's a lot of demand. You know, it might boost my um, OnlyFans subscriptions. You know, if I get on his live and get a bit of exposure. She hasn't really got that many, she hasn't really got many followers. She's only got a few thousand, you know, 130 likes. So we'll try and get her in it. She looks decent. So I've ordered a mic, you know, for her to like put on her, to clip on herself so she can pick up, so the audio can get picked up if she's sat here. But yeah, she's done like ring card, you know, She's been a ring card girl, you know, on some um, Sheffield boxing shows. I think that's her in her little ring card girl outfit. You know, 253 likes. That's not many likes, is it? So I think she'll fucking jump at the chance, you know, to get on here for 100 quid. And she sounded interested, so I'm just waiting for a response. But yeah, it's a nice little move from me, isn't it? But yeah, let me just get back to this a minute. One minute. I'm someone sent me a super chat so this guy's always here man yeah someone's someone's uh, someone's one of you lot commented on her post already saying get on a tie and boo stream that's what I like to see you know shout out to Josh yeah shout out to Josh Shout out to Crash Bandicoot again. He's always there with the super chat saying, Yes, Ty, and being safe as always. RIP Shippers, Harold Shipman. RIP Fred West. RIP Ty's gay uncle. Yes. Yeah, man. Progress. Come on, get this fucking woman on the fucking on the stream you know her there she's alright man she looks okay nice little blonde chick yeah 260 likes for that photo so she's not really really getting that much attention so you know like if she gets on here her only fans will get boosted same with my 40 year old cousin you know who's a fucking black 40 year old single mom her only fans probably got boosted you know, by me giving her a little mention, so. That's like Coogan, isn't it? Look, look at that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's get her all in the videos, man. Step it up. I need you lot to spam her, innit? Really fucking spam her. You know, tell her to get involved. See that? She's at a boxing show, ring card girl. See her sucking on that chocolate bar like that, yeah? Yeah, man. Let's do it. But anyway, let me watch this video of Kel Brook getting slagged off by Eddie Hearn. You know, Baumgartner's in a great fight. The main event's going to be a thriller. Great fights for Ramler Ali, Sky Nicholson. You know, you've got Yankee Riviera, you've got Harley Medeiros, uh, you've got Aaron Apon. So there's a woman's boxing show, in it in America? This Boxing King Media guy's there. You know, he's getting all the little bits of access, you know, that Coogan used to get before he got banned from America. So Coogan's hating on this Boxing King Media guy. You know, this Boxing King Media, his intention is to go above and beyond Coogan. And I'm kind of rooting for him. You know, because Coogan tried to blackball me. So 
Yeah, man. I want to see this guy really fucking overtake Coogan. On say as well, it's a, a great night of action on Saturday. Now, look, I spoke to Francis Ngannou. He's a fine gentleman. Would love to work with him. Uh, I told him that you know you have to navigate this. This Francis Ngannou, he's gonna get schooled by Tyson. You know, if he gets in there, Joshua is a stiff robot. So he might have a better chance, you know, against Joshua, but against Tyson, he's just moving around. That Francis Ngannou is just flat-footed in it, so he'll get schooled by Tyson. But, you know, in an MMA fight, he would fuck up Tyson, I think. He'll take him down. You remember James Tony when he got fucked up, and James Tony was a good... We'll watch that fight as well, that James Tony MMA fight, when he got took down straight away and got fucking pummeled by that guy. He's got the Tyson Fury fight as well. Ultimately... You know, AJ's ambition is to... You know that woman, yeah, she said, she just sent me a message in it saying, I never even said yes to this. Why am, I, why am I being sent messages from random lads asking when I'm on it? Like, you should be grateful, you know, for the fucking exposure. But yeah, sh she'll do it. I think she'll do it. She's kind of acting, a, she's playing a bit hard to get, but... To become world heavyweight That's champion. what she's about, isn't it? Getting that demand. I don't know why she's complaining. She's on OnlyFans. So the fact that she's in demand from you lot, you know, it's a good thing. That, that, I don't know why she's fucking complaining, man. But first thing... I'm going to say to her, yeah, just ignore him. You know what I mean? I'm saying that to you lot. I mean, I'm saying that to her, but really. I'm just going to say, yeah, just ignore him, man. The idiots. You know, to try and get on her little sweet side. I might bump it up to 150, you know, because she's in her feelings now. She's a bit triggered. And there's only two of them. Tyson Fury. I'm going to put, yeah, ignore them. They're simps, yeah? They're desperate. I'm pretending that I'm having a go at you, innit? But I'm really with you, man. Yeah, ignore them. They're desperate. Simps. Fury and Anthony Joshua, they're the biggest fights out there for him. Maybe Deontay Wilder, but Dillian White would take that fight, but I think he's going to look to maximise his position. She just messaged me again, yeah, saying, yeah, but you've told people I'm going on your live. Ha, 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 ha. She'll do it, man, she'll do it. We're doing it again on Saturday night. We're not here to tick boxes. We're not it's here just to look to get, good man. by putting female boxing on. Female boxing is here by its, its own ability and in its own demand. You know, we'll be sold out here nice. on Saturday night. We speak. just sold out the big room for Taylor Serrano. These are great fights, great ch You're just in a photo with your fucking legs open, man. Why are you complaining now? You know what I mean? Sucking on a chocolate bar, you know, doing that. Look at that. That's what you want, attention, exposure, yeah? I'm giving it you. I'll give you a hundred pounds. All you have to do is just fucking sit there, and that's it. Champions She'll do it. And we'll She'll be do it. Investing heavily in women's boxing movement. Supply and demand. Saw, uh, Frank Warren announced Joyce Zhang today. Obviously, Zhang, somebody you work with. Zhang had a situation with us where we had oh, matching rights on his fights man. moving forward. Fucking Kel Brook, Beat man. somebody in Joe Joyce. The same. Back end. Run. Open as is. Really hit him up. Joe. Philippe. See what I mean? That Boxing King media guy is going to ask about Kel Brook. These, are, these guys are asking boring questions, these other channels. Boxing King Media is going to fucking nail this interview by bringing up Kel Brook snorting coke. That's why he's going to take over, hopefully. You know, YouTube boxing. Pergovic, what's the Challenge. latest with Philly? Um, he's been asked to have an interim world title fight against Andy Ruiz. It's just going to to him in the way that... Because he feels undisputed opportunity for... Down to 160. Ken was himself and he... More opportunity. There we go. And you're going to get your views on Kelbrook. Uh, has come out today and admitted, obviously, uh, the video of him taking call Ken was himself and he apologised to his family and friends. Just your views and opinions on that and what we can do as a support to help fighters post boxing. Yeah, you know, I don't really want you know, to talk about fighters' personal life, but Kelbrook is a fighter that, you know, walks away from the sport and has a big um, hole in his life when you leave boxing or you leave something that you love. and. Boxing has been Kell Brook's life for years and years and years, and you see that when that buzz leaves you, you know, you can put yourself in a difficult place mentally. Kell Brook is someone we have a huge history with. One thing I'll tell you about Kell Brook is he's a good person with a huge heart. So 
So yeah, Kel Brock, he put out a little apology, didn't he? A little, let's have a look at Kel's message. His little apology, you know, his little, oh, what the fuck are you doing, man? Has this fucking woman blocked me or something? I think she's blocked me, you know, I think she's in her fucking feelings, man. She's triggered. Fucking idiot. So this is what Kelbrook said anyway. I messed up. I want my, I hold my hands up and want to apologize to my family, gym, friends and fans. It's no secret that I struggle with mental health and I'm, and I'm finding retirement hard. I'm actively seeking the help I need to get me on the right path. And again, apologize for the hurt and disappointment I've caused. It's just a bit of coke, man. It's not a big fucking deal, man. You know, when I used to work in a club, yeah, there was loads of people snorting coke in the toilets. You know, men and women, you know, I fucking used to find coke all over the place. There was a big drug box. You know, in the manager's office, you know, where like all the security put all the drugs. And it was just full of drugs, man. It's not a big deal, man. But, you know, Kel saying I messed up. I hold my hands up and want to apologize to my family, gym, friends and fans. It's no secret that I struggle with mental health. It's not a big deal, man. I think he's exaggerating. Right, let me scroll back through these fucking comments, man. I think that woman's blocked me, you know. She got fucking triggered, man. Yes, Matthew. Thanks for the super chat again, yeah? Five pounds. Will you provide her with her own piss bottle? Listen, if she starts fucking acting daft and turns down easy money, you know what I mean? i got her exposure. These messages that she's been getting from you lot, She's hardly getting any likes on her photo. She hasn't really got that many followers. So I gave her a boost and now she's like blocking me. But I've got a feeling that she'll unblock me. You know, if she gets more and more messages from you lot. But fuck her anyway. There's a lot of women on that website, you know, who live around here. Who I can ask. Yes, AJ. Two pounds. Do you like Gordon Ramsay? Are you a good cook? You know. You know, Andrew Tate, yeah, he says, like, cocking's for losers, man. You know, if you spend a lot of time in the fucking kitchen, you know, preparing meals for hours and hours, seasoning, and, you know, you're not spending time making money. You know, just order some food in it and then focus on, like, your business, you know, making money. If you're making money from, like, food, cooking, if you've got a cooking channel, I watched this um, Jamaican man, you know, his YouTube channel and he's like showing us how to like make nice Jamaican food and he's cashing in on it. But if you're just standing in the kitchen cooking for hours and you're broke, have you watched virtual reality prawn before? I can't say it, innit? Because it's on YouTube. He's basically saying, you know, fucking, have you watched virtual reality Virtual reality prawns. No, I'm not into it. I'm not into all that virtual reality shit, man. You know what I mean? Real, what, what's that saying? A fact is better than fiction. So you better fucking bang in a real woman in the real world, man, instead of putting on a headset and pretending. <sighs> Ty, can you do a review of your stand-up comedy yet? Yeah. I'm gonna confront my demons, man. I confronted them a little bit by watching my fight with you, man. So we'll watch some stand up. And you know, when I watched it yesterday, I got a few laughs, you know. You know, from women in the crowd. So we'll have a look. 
have a quick look at this, which is the quickest. Uh, uh, I'm a bit ugly, you know. You know when you think you're good looking, but you're not. You see yourself on camera and you think, we're well, fucking ugly. Fucking horrible, man. So that's how I lost my job anyway. So I spent about four days walking around the streets crying my eyes out. And a woman seen me crying and she took pity on me. And she agreed to um, sex with me. <laughs> Sexual intercourse to help me feel better about losing my job. Um, so we had sex in a field nearby. And um, a field was quite a good place to have sex with this woman because she looked a little bit like an animal. <laughs> Yeah, that laughter. I got a bit of laughter there, you know, from the crowd. I think they approved of my little joke, but it was a true story as well. That's not sexist, it's a biological fact. So, uh, yeah. But when we was in the field, just before we was about to have sex, I strategically decided to have sex with her, right next to a big pile of cow shit. And the reason why I decided to have sex with her right next to a big pile of cow shit was because I thought to myself, if I can't give her an orgasm and she starts moaning, I can say, what, you probably just put off by this shit. <laughs> yeah, it's got nothing to do with me. If you've got a problem, take it up with this shit. <laughs> Leave me out of it. But I didn't really enjoy myself in the field with this woman because I'm not really a fan of beastiality. And, uh, well, I'm shit phobic as well, so... Yeah, that's enough of this. No, that will do, man. Wrap it up, man. It's fucking no good, man. It's getting a bit cringe out here. Fucking mum and block me, you know. Someone says cringe, yes. I know, I know, I know, I know. They're laughing to be polite, someone says, but. That's not true, is it? They don't know me. Why would they be bothered if I'm upset or not? They don't give a fuck. Review KSI this morning. Uh, I think it might be copyright, but... We'll have a go, we'll have a go. Should I have a little listen to KSI with his fake laughter, yeah? Philip Schofield, a bit zesty, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have a look, man. Well, KSI joins us now, and it's lovely to have you here today. Yeah, um, you congratulations on everything, basically. <laughs> um, but this documentary, two years in the making, and yes, in one way, it's a success story. I think people started to realise and go, oh, wow, you know what? We see him on YouTube do all these crazy things, but when he's just himself behind the camera, when, you know, everything's turned off, mm. he is just a normal human being. But yeah, it's an act, it's fake, man. I've seen him at press conferences, you know, when he's just talking, and he's not like, you know, in his videos when he's just laughing and all that, he's, he puts it on, man. You forgot that. I mean, you forgot yeah. your human side. Like, to be fair, you were so focused on the, the success and this She's sort of drive nice, you know? have and this She's career and getting nice. where you want to go. She's about 50. She looks all right, don't she? You know, Carol Vorderman, these women grow old with dignity, don't they? <clears throat> she ain't got lip fillers, fucking... I don't think she's got, I don't think she's got Botox. I think that's her nose. Because there's a bit of a dent in her nose, you know what I mean? So she hasn't really opted for a nose job and stuff like that. Yeah, she looks all right, man. Holly Willoughby. Oh, you sort of let... Like your well-being slip to the point where you just forget about your whole mental health and everything mm. you're just like i need to be getting as many views as possible i need to get as many likes as possible mental health stuff. mental health they, they, people are trying to jump on that aren't they Kel Brook kind of did it didn't it? mental health you know if you if you do something stupid you just say oh my mental health you know and it kind of it's like an excuse in it it's like trying to hide behind you know, that whole mental health thing. It's like, oh, I fucking graped a woman, but I've got bipolar. You know, it's not my fault. Oh, I fucking <sighs> murdered somebody, but I've got ADHD. It's, I don't know, it's like a cop out, innit? Just accept your fuck ups, man. Kel Brook, it's just a bit of coke, man. It's not a big deal. So, strict family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, how did it happen? What were you wanting to achieve? So, at the 
You know Coogan, you. You know, after this KSI's last fight, Coogan was like fucking saying to him, oh, you know, when he was trying to celebrate and have a good time, Coogan was like, oh, there's a kid who's got cancer, you know, and he's fucking dying. And, you know, I, I just wonder if you could give him a little, a little hello message, you know what I mean? And KSI was like, yeah, you know, you could tell KSI felt a bit uncomfortable. Coogan kind of ruined his moment, you know, by bringing up a kid who's dying of cancer and that. And KSI was a bit awkward, man. He was like, oh, fuck, you know, I'm trying to enjoy myself, you know what I mean? I'm trying to have a good time here. And Coogan's trying to fucking, you know, lower the tone, lower the mood. And it was just a bit awkward, man. I don't know. It was just a bit... He used just to make it really, like, pop out. And then, uh, yeah, I would send it to friends. Why is that woman blocking me, though? It's so stupid, isn't it? You fucking, you get your posse out for fucking strangers to fucking wank over. And you're getting all triggered because I said, oh, you're coming on the live. You know what I mean? She's like, I, I didn't agree to it. Oh, why are all these fucking people messaging me? I didn't say I'm going to go on your live. Oh, block. You fucking get your pussy out. Why are you trying to act like you're some big time fucking diva? You know what I mean? Stupid women, man. On Twitter and everyone fucking be like, oh, dumb. check out my... <laughs> I can't be here. <laughs> 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 so he actually requested to the school. Can I move to the... Hold on a sec. Let me make sure this hasn't been done for copyright. Hold on a sec. Hold on a minute. Uh, nah, not yet, not yet, not yet. I think it's because I'm talking, you know, in between, you know, watching the video. I don't know. It, it might be safe from copyright, but. My dad said, well, that's fine for a hobby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, and thankfully it proved not, not, not to be just a hobby. Same with me though. Like my teachers said I would never amount to anything. And look at me now, you know what I mean? Sitting here getting these little super chats to watch videos of KSI. Uh, for you, <sighs> proving to them that this is a worthwhile profession, it was... Same with me, I used to get picked last, you know, for the football team, you know, and like, it was a bit degrading, man, because I used to love football, innit? I wanted to be a footballer, but I always got picked last. And it had an effect on me, man. So I just thought I need to succeed in life. And like, that's what drove me, you know, to do well. And that's why I'm here now, man, doing well. <laughs> My little poxy 26,000 subscribers. They man. get you into private school to get. KSI's mum and dad, they're quite fortunate. You know, because they got him. He's a multi, multi millionaire. You know, his little drink prime. You know, the UFC, they've just took that on, haven't they? Yeah, Arsenal Football Club have took on Prime, you know, it's selling for hundreds of pounds, you know, that bottle of Prime in Wakefield. So he's done well, you know, having two sons like that, you know, KSI's mum and dad, they got KSI, they got Dead G. You know, Dead G just boxed Mayweather, then they got a big payday and he's doing well on YouTube as well with like 10 million subscribers. So, yeah, you know, his mum and dad, they must be proud of him and his brother Dead G. But you know, my mum, she's a bit disappointed with me and my brother, but... Um, but also, there's, there's the music. I mean, it's yeah. non-stop. You've just released your new single, Voices, with Oliver Tree. Let's just have a little look at that. Voices in my head, my head, yeah. Have you heard that song before? But you say that this song sort of marks a bit of a new... That song is it's, it's a bit... I don't know, it's a bit... Uh, basically, KSI is with this little woman, yeah. And she leaves him in it to get with someone else. And KSI is like crying, you know, in the music video. When he sees the same woman, like, with another man. You know, on the internet, on Instagram and that. He's in his feelings and he's crying and all that. But that's, it's not realistic, man. KSI, real talk, he's like a high value man. You know, the kind of money he's got. So, he's like the A side to most women. So all this simp behaviour in that music video, crying over a fucking woman. It's not real life, man. It's not realistic. Women are trying to get to him. They're trying to fucking slide into his DMs. You know, because he's a little celebrity and he's got that money. Prime, YouTube. He's got a vodka drink out. He's got a little restaurant called Sides. He's making loads of money with the side men. So that fucking woman that I just message to try and get on the stream like you know if i was ksi she wouldn't have fucking blocked me like that 
she wouldn't have blocked me at all. So there's... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's enough, that's enough, man. He was simping over a woman, you know, in those videos, in that little music video, but it's not realistic, man. It's not realistic. KSI lost about three million pounds or dollars in um, crypto. And uh, he was just like laughing about it. Yeah, the kind of money he's getting, he can afford to laugh at a little L like that. You know, three million dollars. You need to drink. This is dead. And you keep ignoring super chats from loyal followers. Bit of a piss take. All right, let me just scroll back. Right. The best older woman is Sandra Bollocks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember her. She's all right. Yes, Brown Jack, quarterback. Thanks for the £1.79, yeah? Can you shout me out? Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, man, shout out to Brown Jack, quarterback. Yeah, you happy? You happy with that little shout out, yeah? Looney Bin, give me £2. Tyne, how many COVID in... Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have said that. You're not allowed to say COVID on fucking YouTube, man. Setting me up. Tommy Fiore batters. I hope Tommy Fiore batters Jake Paul, then smashes KSI, takes the bag now. I hope Tommy Fiore gets laid out, man. I don't like him for some reason. I don't know why. I just, I just haven't really talked to Tommy Fiore, you know what I mean? And he's like body language, you know, when you see him, he's like you don't really want to fight. It's like peer pressure from his dad, John Fiore. You know what I mean? He probably talks about poking somebody's eye out and blinding them. You know, and Tyson Fury is quite a good boxer in here. So that little Tommy Fury, you know, he's it's peer pressure. You can tell he don't want to fight, man. Even when he's getting interviewed, he's like, yeah, uh, I'm going to knock out Jake Paul. It's, uh, it's a facade, man. It's not real life. Gerald Miller versus Lucas Brown, who wins? I don't care, man. I don't give a fuck. I don't know. They're both drugged up, aren't they? They're both... Um... Someone says, review a tampon advert. Shall I? What for? What's the point, man? Did you know that a tampon was made by a man? You know these stupid women who say they don't need a man? Men fucking created tampons. I was thinking about this today. I was thinking about all the things that... You know, men created. Who created tampons? Earl Haas. Yeah, a man. Earl Haas invented the menstrual tampon most commonly used in the 21st century. Later, da, 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 produced the first commercial tampon brand, Tampax, using Haas's painted design. You see what I mean? You know, these fucking women who say they don't need a man. You need a man every single step of your life, man. Yeah. You know, mechanics, you know, fixed cars. They're always men, aren't they? So it's like... It's these women are acting a bit ungrateful, man. You know, when they say they don't need a man and women run the world and all this silly shit, it's fucking stupid, man. Have you ever sniffed coke with Kel? No. We've done a few things together, me and Kel. No homo, but... You know, coke, it's not one of them, man, but... Yeah, I'll do it, if he was on it. You're getting sidetracked when you have ignored earlier super chats with decent questions. Send me a super chat again, yeah, just like 50 pence, and I'll read it. It's because I was watching KSI, you know, on this morning, and I was watching uh, another video, Fred Talks Fighting, interviewing a woman. I was showing you that fucking woman that I tried to get on the live, who's triggered, and has blocked me. Who invented breast implants? That's a good question as well. That's a very good question. Let me expose these stupid women who talk about it. they don't need a man. I'm not saying you need breast implants, but 
Let's have a look at this. Right, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. The first breast implants, 1961. American plastic surgeons Thomas and Frank created them, so it says it all, don't it? Fight Gerald McLennan on Misfits. That's from Mark. Yeah, I'll fuck him up, man. You know, back in his day, though, he would have fucked me up as well, though, to be honest. He would have done me in. He would have blinded me. He was a good fighter, but... He just went over the top, didn't he, with the dogs and that. Sellotaping their mouths closed and putting them in a cage with pit bulls. It's a bit out of order, isn't it? Someone says, who introduced the first nail polish? Let me have a quick look at that. Let's see which man created that. They don't need a man. Let's have a look at that. Right, I need to, I need to like, I need to sort this out, man. Wait a minute. Move that shit over there a bit. See that? Nail polish originated in China and dates back to 300, 3000. During the fucking blah, blah, the Royal House, da, 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 da. What is the name of the f of the person who invented nail polish? So, what is the history of nail polish? Northern Warren was a chemist who worked for blood. Yeah, you know, it was a man. I ain't got time to read all that shit, man. But it's probably a man. Isn't it? I don't want to sound sexist, innit? It's just when people are arrogant and they start saying, "Oh, I don't need a man," and you fucking do, man. Just stop saying it. McLennan was a dangerous man, mini Mike Tyson. You know what? A lot of boxers throughout time, throughout history, have been given that little silly title, mini Mike Tyson. Jeff Lacey, who got fucked up by Kawasaki, he was like called a mini Mike Tyson. And Kawasaki just smacked him up. And that was the end of him. Have you got any mates, Tyson? <laughs> mates. Yeah, man, I'm going to a party tomorrow, you know, Friday night. I'm going to a nice little party, you know, in Nottingham. So, yeah, I'm going to a party on Friday night in Nottingham. You know, with my old mates, you know, that I grew up around. And I'm going to another one on Saturday as well, you know, with another bunch of mates. You don't want to fucking hear that I've got mates, do you? Yeah, I've got mates, man. Power to our good brother, Ty, for speaking truths, yeah. It's like we're mates, aren't we? It's like we're all little mates, little fake mates. Yeah, I've had a good time today. Quick live, quick hello, quick review of a few videos, quick little look at these super chats, comments. What's your day job? This is my job, you know. This is a nice income. So I'd recommend, you know, you people who are struggling financially to just get on this. Play games. I need to order a PS5 and start gaming. You know, that undisputed boxing game. That's getting a bit of hype in it. So I'm about to jump on that, you know, play a few little games on there. Have a few little boxing matches. Show us your ring piece time before you go, mate. Sick. You know what? I don't want to get disgusting. Man. I don't want to get too vile, man. But you know, before this live, yeah, I went to the toilet in it. Got my little yellow rubber glove out, and I just started really fucking. Not watching another live if they're all like <laughs> they're all like this, but you're still here all the time fucking watching man. So just stop the fucking bullshit. I put me in time out for a bit.
Someone says too much information. Yeah, but it's true. Like you gotta fucking, you gotta clean your ass properly, man. Using a bit of tissue is not good enough. When I put my little rubber glove on and I was like, sat on the side of my bath, you know, the water, the tap water running in the bath. Put my hand on another tap with the rubber glove on. I was like scraping, you know, my ass crack. Then you know all the fucking remnants. I know I don't want to get disgusting, man, but it's just real life, isn't it? You know all the remnants that are stuck in your ass crack. You're not getting rid of them, you know, by using a bit of tissue. So you need to really get in there with a fucking rubber glove, man. Did the yellow glove come out brown? Nah, because I kept putting it under the tap after every wipe, after every scrape. I fucking put it under the tap, you know, to rinse it, but. The toilet should be fitted with bomb guns. Washing before wiping is standard practice in Asia. I know, I know, I know. Do you identify as bisexual now? Nah heterosexual you know women who like say that they're bi they just say that for attention you know what i mean they want to they want to try and sound like they they're edgy you know they say it to try and turn men on like oh i like women as well oh i like women you know because as men like lesbians that's the kind of go-to category in it you know on porn so these desperate fucking attention seeking women they pretend that they're bi you know to get attention from men it's not true, man. Do you identify as a waste man? Nah, not anymore. I did I did for a few years. I did, admittedly, after boxing. You know, Kel Brook snorting coke, saying in interviews that he felt dead, you know, when his boxing career ended. That's what I felt like, but I didn't have the money that Kel had, or has got. So imagine how I felt. At least he won a world title. At least he made millions. I didn't make fucking shit out of boxing. The most I got was like three grand. Show us your yellow gloves. Do you really want me to go to the bathroom and fucking get my little rubber glove off the side of the bath just to show you? But yeah, I just had enough of being a bomb. I'm gonna be honest. But I think that's the first step, you know, in overcoming your bumness. Just like looking yourself in the mirror and just saying you're a bum. How can I overcome being a bum and a fucking loser? How do I step up like Andrew Tate? You know what I mean? Join a gym. You know, since I've started working out in the gym, in this JD Sports gym, I felt so much better, man. I feel so much better. And I drink about three liters of water as well. And like your brain is like liquid around your brain, yeah. So you know if you're dehydrated, your brain's gonna be a bit fucked up, man. That's why Emmanuel Stewart turning the heating up in his gym, like Dave Caldwell. His fighters were sparring, you know, and their brains were rattling, like Gerald McLennan and James Tony. James Tony's fucked up as well. So you need like fluid around your brain. So go to the gym, train, have a good sweat. Sweat out all the bullshit and then just drink loads of water, you know, to rehydrate. JD Sports Gym, gone downhill from the Ingle Gym. No, not really, not really. I like the gym, man. I like the JD Sports Gym because I can just do my own thing, you know, I don't. Have you ever heard of a boxer called Willie Hutchinson? He's like a talented young boxer who used to train at the Ingle Gym. So when I went there one time, just for a little workout, he said, are you sparring, yeah? Do you want to spar? Do you want to spar? And I kind of like pussed it out, innit? You know, because I knew I wasn't really in shape to be sparring. But with this JD Sports Gym, I can just go there, hit the bags, you know, have a good workout, come home. I don't have to worry about my weight. I can just fucking drink and do these lives. If I was still boxing, I'd be in bed by now. So I feel less pressure. You know, at this stage of my life. Whew, there's loads of women there as well, and that gives you that fucking push, don't it?
Do you believe in aliens, Ty? It's a good question, but it's a stupid question as well because it's like there's millions of other planets, so why would there only be life on one planet? Do you know what I mean? It's a bit arrogant of humans, isn't it? I was thinking about this the other day in bed. Humans are a bit fucking egotistical. How we seem to think that there's only life on one planet out of all the other millions of other planets out there. It's a bit dumb, isn't it? It's a bit stupid. And we talk about the afterlife. You know, we act like we're the chosen ones, you know, from God, but we're just arrogant, man. We think when we die, we go to heaven or hell, like, you know what I mean? So what about other animals? There's like billions of other species out there. Why would we be the only ones, you know, to like go to heaven or hell? But you know, if I started saying like ants or cockroaches, Go to heaven or hell when they die, you know. Humans look at you like you're fucking stupid, man. But why though? They're like organisms as well, aren't they? Ants, cockroaches. We're not the only fucking ones in the whole universe, you know. Just arrogant, isn't it? It's just dumb. Joshua's ego was out of control after losing to Uzi. Nah, I'd say the opposite. I'd say his ego was fucking rock bottom. Joshua's lost his pride, his dignity, his hope of being like Lennox Lewis. You know, he's not even the second best heavyweight in the world, is he? He might not even be third. I think that Jermaine Franklin will be him. He was technically brilliant, you know, against uh, Dillian White, so... Hopefully Joshua gets beat by him as well and just fucks off, man. Do you believe in ghost time? Uh, I don't know. Not sure, you know. You know, you know them Yuiji boards. I was always told by my mom, you know, to stay away from them. You know, because my mom's a Christian. She's like a Bible basher. So when I was a kid, she always told me to stay away from them, even though my little mates were like doing them. I deliberately avoided doing those. You know, those are Yuiji boards where you contact spirits. But yeah, are you a flat earther? Do you know what? I'm not really bothered, you know. The last time I went to my family's, my family, it was basically my granddad's 80th birthday, you know, my mum's dad. So they threw a little party for him, a little family get together. And I walked in, yeah, and they were talking about if the earth's flat or not. And I was just sat there quiet, in it. I didn't say anything. So then one of my family members said to me, do you think the earth's flat or not? And I said, I don't give a fuck, man. You lot are all broke. You ain't got anything. You ain't got any assets. You ain't got any property, any land, any gold, any crypto, any stocks and shares. You ain't got a business. You ain't got shit. So why are you sitting around talking about if the earth's flat or round? Like, what does it matter? So it's like, that's kind of where I'm at now. It's like, I don't care, man. I just want to get the bag, you know, and just invest in property. Like my old boxing manager, who's got about 15 to 20 houses, you know, that he rents out to people and gets like passive income. Same with Kid Gallard, he's got about six houses. He got 600,000 pounds for fighting Josh Warrington. You know, and he's fucking, he used to sleep in the gym, Barry. You know, he's shown that dedication. He wanted to become world champ. You know, when Barry won the European title, I said to him, are you happy, yeah? Are you proud? Are you proud of your achievement winning a European title? That's a good level. And Barry was like, nah, it's fucking nothing, man. I want the world title, man. The European title is nothing. You know, he had that hunger, Barry. So he, you know, he kind of shown a lot of discipline and consistency. And now he's got like six, seven houses. Any bomb can win a European title. So let's have a little look at my little European title fight against Proxer. You know where I fucked that fight up as well, like the Eubank fight. Look at that. Yeah, that's the video I shown yesterday, innit? I did a review of that. I had to end it, man. It was just too much, man. That fringe. 
Trying to be like JLS. That's when I was at university as well, and I was around a lot of white middle class people. So it's like I, I straighten my hair, you know, to try and fit in. It's a bit of a sellout move, isn't it? But I've gone back to my roots. Now, you know, since I've started training, my dick's getting bigger, you know. Remember when I told you that my dick was like five inches and I was a bit ashamed. It's growing. You know, because I've started working out and drinking water and shit like that. You know, sweating out all this alcohol. You know what I mean? But then they start to say, uh, in fact, oh, um, no, no, no. But then I say, what do you mean, no? Mm -hmm. Do you want old fashioned traditions or not? Yeah. See what I mean? I'm the original Andrew Tate, yeah? Top G. I was saying this a long time before Andrew Tate came on the scene, man. You understand? I ain't trying to copy him at all. My brother, he tried to like insult me. You know my brother, yeah? He like, he tries, every week he's got a, a, a great idea, you know, to make money. You know, but he never fucking follows up with it at all. And he tried to like ask me for a little investment, yeah? He tried to ask me for a bit of cash, my brother. And I was like, nah, you're not getting anything, man. And he tried to say, oh, you're a little fake Andrew Tate. You know, you're a fake Andrew Tate wannabe. You know what I mean? You got all these fucking idiots giving you money, you know, on your YouTube live streams. So he's fucking jealous, isn't he, my brother? You know, like Nassim Hamid's brother, just fucking hating on his own brother, Naz. That's what I mean, man. Family are scum as well, man. That's why I'm not really bothered. I don't really fucking... I don't really mingle with family like that anymore. Would you do an interview with Krugan on IFL if he asked? That's a good question, you know. I'm kind of rooting for Boxing King Media. Yeah? You know, to overtake Krugan. But yeah, you know me watching that video of me with a fringe. I've kind of like confronted my demons, man. Because I couldn't watch this video for years and years and years. You know, because of that fringe. But that's what you have to do. You have to confront your fears, man. confront your fears and fucking keep it moving man move on so yeah I feel better yo this is where I gotta fucking stop let me play the last round of this Billy Joe sandwiches see that look at this fucking mug Man says Ty and Booth is an absolute clown. I smacked you up, man. Take the hell, you fuck. He's like you back in here trying to. This is Jonathan Aguilar, fifth pro boxing fans. Dimitri Sandra, you know, we've seen a lot oh, of him. Fuck you know, off, man. Fuck, um, off. fuck off, man. Fuck this guy. Let's have a quick look at this. Turn the sound off. This was a European Union title fight, 12 rounds. Five days notice. Yeah, I'm trying to be all flashy there, you know, trying to do that. Let's get to the stoppage, man. Confront your demons, mate. Confront your fucking demons, nigga. I was winning this fight as well, I was ahead on points, but. Előbb-utóbb valamelyik be fog csúszni. Mert ezért most már Tyen Boot is fárad. Új, de nagyon lassú volt. Ebből látszik, hogy ilyet azért nem próbált meg az első, vagy a harmadik menetben. It's like I didn't have conviction, man. That's why I rate Carl Froch. 
You know when he got knocked down by Jermaine Taylor and he just fucking just kept going and just forced the stoppage. I didn't have that same kind of courage, man. The same kind of heart. That's why I rate Carl Frotch. I want to have a pint with him. Dobálja keményen a kezeit. Testen is nagyon úgy néz ki, hogy meg van csípve. A bit of Mayweather defense there, you know, drop. Ez a jobb kép, meg a felütés is. Az eddigi legjobb menete. This guy was a three-time European champ. He boxed Golovkin, you know, in a world title fight. No, I didn't deliver in boxing at all, man. Oh, fuck off, man. Fucking mug. Spat the gum shield out, man. Come on. Get the fuck up, man. What are you doing? What would Carl Frost do? You know what I mean? You tough it out. He wouldn't just stand in like that. You know, in the streets, I'm totally different, though, you know. I've got that killer instinct. You know, the way I've knocked out a few women. Fucking messed them up. But in boxing, I didn't show it, man. I didn't even get hit, did I? Really? I didn't really get hit. They say sparring's different to fighting. Boxing's different to street fighting. Bro, it's a jab, man. It's a little jab, a little left hand, man. Come on, man. Fucking get up, man. You know what I mean? Carl Frotch. And I'm slagging him off in YouTube videos. You know what I mean? Him and his wife, Rachel Cording. It's fucking hypocritical, man. Look at that. Spitting out the gum shield and thing. That's some baby thing. The gum shield comes out as well. Like, yeah, fuck off, man. Yeah, my career was a flop. Don't mind. Tyrone, did anyone ever ask you to go down for more dough? No one ever said that to me, you know. But when I boxed this journey, man, my manager told me to like go easy on him you know because he had a fight like two weeks later and if i would have stopped him he was called peter dunn he had like two fights 200 he had two wins 200 losses or something like that so when i boxed him in knots on a car frotch undercard i was just like messing around with him you know like doing that ali shuffle and all that silly shit. and i got booed out of the arena you know because i was just messing around because my manager told me not to stop him yeah but because I was just fucking about, it was hard for me to sell tickets after that. You know, because people didn't want to pay like 40 quid, 60 quid, you know, to see me fucking running around doing the Ali shuffle. So, I don't know, I should have just laid this journey man out and people would have been interested and they would have bought tickets, you know, to my next fight. But yeah, my career was a bit of a flop, to be honest. The Echo Falls quitter, yeah.